Hi and welcome to a new video. Most Mac users will know that the internal storage is almost always filled. For a lot of people, this is due to the so-called other storage. In this video, I'll show you how you can free up some storage and especially how to empty the other storage in a simple way. Let's go. If you click on Manage here, you will get a summary on how much storage each category uses on your Mac. You can do something in each category. You can delete programs, empty trash, and so on. The other category, however, is disabled and you won't get any further with the pre-installed storage manager. Some of you wrote to me that your other storage contains several 100 gigabyte. Right after reinstalling your Mac, this storage will be about 6 GB in size. If the Mac has already been used for some time, 20 gigabit are normal. But what kind of data is even stored there? On the one hand, there are temporary files from the Mac OS operating system, images, and archives. So, files with .dmg or .zip extension. But mostly, these are cache files of programs. Cache files, however, can be deleted with the help of a good program without any problems as they can be recreated over and over again. Next, you should definitely make an up-to-date Time Machine backup on an empty hard drive. In case you delete something you shouldn't, you can just load the backup onto your Mac. In order to do this, just connect a hard drive to your computer. And in the top right corner, you can click on the round arrow and on Backup Now. In case you don't see this option, search for Time Machine in Spotlight and open it in System Preferences. Here, you can tick the box below. Once you've done that, there are two options. You can save all your data such as photos on an external hard drive or on a cloud, for example iCloud. Then completely reset the Mac and put all your files back on it. This has the advantage that you really only have 6 gigabit of other storage afterwards. The disadvantage is that it takes a while, you have to reinstall all programs and set up the programs again as they were before. But if you want to switch to a new Mac soon anyway, this is definitely the best alternative. If you want to know how to reset a Mac to factory settings, take a look at other YouTube tutorials. There are several on this topic. Creating a backup in Time Machine and restoring it is unfortunately useless because the backup also contains all other files. The other option is a program called Clean My Mac from MacPaw. You can find the link to the website in the video description below. Download the free version and install the program. In order to be able to use all functions of the software, you have to pay money for the program. You can choose between a subscription or buy the program alternatively. The good thing is, however, that many functions are for free, so you may not need to do that. The first thing you should do is a smart scan. Then, the program searches for files that can be deleted. In my case, it's 8 gigabytes. With the free version, you can delete up to 500 megabytes. I couldn't delete the full 8 gigabytes now because Safari and Chrome were still opened. The next very useful function is the Space Lens. Select your hard drive and click on Scan. The program now searches the entire hard drive for files that you cannot find in the Finder, and then lists the files sorted by size. This way, you can see at a glance which files use the most storage space and take care of these files first. It is best to take a look in the Library folder. Search for large cache files here and delete them. If you are interested in where exactly the file is located, you can right-click on the file to display it in the Finder and delete it afterwards. Take a look around and think about what you can delete. I can't really give you advice here because everyone has different programs installed. If you are not sure, you can also Google the file name to find out whether you can delete the file or not. 
The other good tool is large and old files. Here you can find files that use up the most storage space and either delete them or save them somewhere else, example in a cloud. The other category is particularly interesting here. Here you will find even more files that you can probably delete. When you've deleted a few files and everything works the same as before, don't forget to empty the trash. If you are still running out of storage, click on the Apple logo, then on About This Mac, then on Storage, and then on Manage. Here you'll get a few suggestions from Apple what you can do. For example, you can save your files on iCloud, provided you have subscribed to enough storage. You can uninstall programs that you no longer need. But you can also empty the trash, delete backups from your iPhone, and save your photos in the cloud. This adds the extra advantage of not losing your files if your hard drive ever breaks. Be aware that you'll have to restart your Mac in order to see newly freed storage space. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.